Let's start with a disclaimer. My first ever published music review was on television's first album, Marky Moon, which appeared in March 1977, in the Critics' Theater, that was the Soho Weekly News. I was paid $5 to write it. Forty years later, some things never change, and that goes for television torchbearer Tom Verlaine and Company too, who played two nights at Los Angeles's Terragram Ballroom on September 29th and 30th. A rock poet who was Patti Smith's significant other sometime between Sam Shepard, Robert Mapplethorpe on the one side, and Alan Lanier and Fred Sonic Smith on the other, Verlaine and fellow schoolmate Richard Hell formed the Neon Boys, which eventually evolved into television. As legend has it, Verlaine and cohorts convinced Haley Crystal to turn his biker's bar CBGB on the Bowery into a new music venue. The band, while highly influential, only recorded a pair of albums for Electra, following Marky Moon a year later with Adventure, then disappeared for 14 years, before resurfacing with a self-titled third album for Capital in 1992. Television replaced original member Richard Lloyd in 2007 with NY guitar whiz Jimmy Ripp and the band, with original bassist Fred Smith and drummer Billy Ficka, returned to the road several years ago and performed at the Terragram Ballroom a month after the downtown venue opened in July 2015. After a fine opening set from fellow 70s legend and former Alex Chilton collaborator Chris Stamey, backed by a violinist and cellist, including DBS songs like From a Window to a Screen and Happenstance as well as solo chestnuts such as Astronomy and the original Orc Records 45, Summer Sun, it was time for television, proving both a lot tighter and much more expensive than I'd remembered them. On Friday night, they were the former, opening with the martial rhythms of Prove It, and doing just that over the chorus of a taut, 90-minute, nine-song, Twanimer encore set that paused midway through for their sprawling, newly added Persia, a Middle Eastern flavored nod to the Grateful Dead psychedelic drum space interlude. The second evening was more up and down, starting with a shimmering intro into 1880 or so, from the band's self-titled 1992 album, before an unbroken string of four marquee moon smashes, Venus, Elevation, Prove It and Friction. Belying his reputation as a musical tyrant, Verlaine is notably generous, letting Jimmy Rip front and center for the distinctive Morse code solos on Elevation, and while Rip may be more conventional than Lloyd in his approach, he also manages to keep Verlaine grounded, even if the night to prove television capable of being a world-class jam band too. The new surprise set piece is I'm Gonna Find You, a previously unreleased song Verlaine calls one of our oldest, most ancient songs, originally intended for, but left off of, Marky Moon. An insinuating blues country plaint that channels the stones of wild horses, the song shows the band's hitherto will conceal Darby roots, and both evenings, led into elongated takes on Marky Moon, with a second night extrapolation that turned it into an epic, widescreen soundscape. Guiding Light and Friction closed out the first night, with the former doing the honors on Saturday night, a one-song encore that proved anticlimactic after the full-blown pyrotechnics of Marky Moon, Verlaine taking center stage to emote his ass off, peeling off notes as he peels off layers to the skin. Of course, television is a vehicle for Tom Verlaine's chordal, scale-based notion of guitar soloing, mostly gleaned from listening to jazz musicians like John Coltrane. Among New York punk and post-punk guitarists, perhaps only Lou Reed, Johnny Thunders, Johnny Ramond, Thurston Moore and Bob Quine challenge television for Fred's supremacy. Still television is a lot more than just Verlaine, without Fred Smith's warmly melodic bass lines, and Billy Ficka's light finger jazz drumming, the band would simply disappear into the ether. Forty years ago, I wrote about the band, forget everything you've heard about television forget punk, forget New York, Forget CBGBs, hell forget rock and roll, this is the real item. That quote is now immortalized in the band's Wikipedia entry. Now, I look around and see kids half my age digging on a sound that is only deepened and resonated with age. Tom Verlaine and television have nothing left to prove.